All right, welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain, Earthworks and Siteworks training videos. In this video, I want to show you how to record points with an Earthworks machine, whatever it may be, Earthworks meaning grader, dozer, skid steer, excavator, anything that you've got that has the ability to record points. We're going to record them in the machine, and then we're going to export them out, and we're going to put them in a data collector. Now, right now, there's this problem that we have where when we export out, if your job site was in U.S. survey fee, the machine is exporting out a file that's in meters, so it's not convertible straight to the data collector yet. Um, in other videos, I'll show you how to do that, but this one, I'm going to show you how to use Business Center. So what I'm going to do is use these cones as an example. So right here, if I need to record a point, I'm going to use the left tip of my bucket. You've got to make sure that you've got the red focus point as you zoom down in on the side that you want to record. So what I'm going to do is in this button at the bottom here that looks like a kind of a hot air balloon, if you hit that button and this always prompt isn't on, it's always just going to instantly record it. What I'm going to do under measure data, though, is I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to come in here at that black box and I'm going to add one. I'm going to call this, instead of data 2, I'm going to call it utility. We'll just call it utility... Site tech. Go ahead and save that. Now that I've got that, now I can come out here and actually give it a name. I could call this a uh, water valve for the name if I want, for the code. You can put whatever you want. Just for the video, I'm going to put new. So you can see that I've got a northing, easting, and an elevation based off the left tip. So I've assigned a name, a code, left tip of my bucket, and I'm actually putting it on a specific measured data folder. So once I've done that, I can go ahead and hit save. And on my screen, you'll go ahead and see an icon that shows that if I swing just to the left, you'll see that I've on here got in the layers option, the little stack of papers at the top right there, under points, I've got it on point name and code just so I can see that. So now that I've got a point recorded there, we'll just go ahead and record some other ones. This one's right here in front of the machine. We'll go ahead and just set down right here, and I'm going to record that one, but it won't do duplicates, so it can't be 100 water valves. So this one's going to be water valve 2. We'll leave it on new, and we'll hit save. So now I've got a point right there in front of the machine. So now let's go ahead and record a couple more, and then we'll export them out of here and go put them in Business Center and export a CSV file. Maybe on these, we'll switch to the other tooth just to show you the importance of recording off of the correct side of the bucket. I'll put this on the right side. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to call this, uh, maybe we'll call this a manhole. And we'll put these ones as old, just to show you the difference here. Still a northern easting elevation. We'll go ahead and hit save. This one we'll go ahead and put maybe the middle of the bucket. So we've got to put that in the middle. We're going to go ahead and record that one. We'll call that manhole two. We'll save it. So we're actually recording all these points. So one, you can see them on the screen. Two, you can navigate back to your own points. If you ever needed to do that, you can touch and hold on any of these. So let's say that first one I recorded. If I touch and hold on that one and go to water valve one, I can navigate back. And it will turn my screen into basically like a rover that's telling me how far how to go back to it and what the elevation is, et cetera, et cetera. And then I can hit the stop button to actually stop that. So one more thing I'll show you is let's say I needed to record on the top of this it was a hole, it was a pothole, whatever it is, but I want to record right on it, but I know that the elevation is two feet lower than that. You can edit that. So from the middle of my bucket, I'm going to just change that and leave that there, and I'm going to record the point, but I can edit these numbers. So I've got a 49, 20, 30, or 30, so I'll put that at an 1830. I'm going to edit the elevation before I record it, so we'll go 49, 18.30. We'll go ahead and save it. And the reason for that is it actually records that at a higher elevation. So let me show you when I change this view to 3D. So now as I zoom in on it, you'll see that it's down below the bucket. It actually changed the elevation. Here's one more way I can show you that, is if I touch and hold on that point, go to select point and go to manhole 3 and navigate to it, but I leave my bucket there, 
you'll see I've got a two foot cut right there. Because up and down, two and a half, if I just come off to the side and go down, you'll see that two feet's about down to the, close to the bottom of that. So, just little tricks of the trade to do that. So, in order to export this out now, what you gotta do is put in a thumb drive on the screen here. We'll go ahead and insert this one in. And the screen's gonna automatically come up. There's a couple different ways to get to this screen. You can just put the thumb drive in and let it come here and hit this drop down and there's an export files from machine. The other way to do it is if the thumb drive's in and you've kind of canceled out of all this, you can hit it from the menu. I believe it's the shovel with the gear. One down in here is export to machine. Nope, I was wrong. It was in the shovel with the tablet. There's one in here that's file transfer. So you can file transfer from here. But there's also a third spot that you can go to. You can hit your shovel with the gear, go to job setup, and there's a file transfer button right there. There's a couple different ways to get to the same spot. But file transfer, I'm going to export files from machine to my USB. I'm going to hit next. And now what I'm going to do is just tell it where I want it to go. I'm just going to say my th solid thumb drive. It's going to dump it in my project library. And what I need to do now is come in here to production data or find my project in here and go to local three union hall. And I've got infill data. Now, if you remember, when you import to the machine, you have uh, office data, information from the office. Well, now I've got infill data. So I'm going to take the infill data from my local three, which is the project I'm on, and I'm going to export that. All right. Once that's done exporting, that is creating what's called a PNT file. It's still a job site in northern easting and elevation, but that PNT file, we're going to convert into a CSV file in Business Center real quick. Also just to show you. So you can go ahead and hit OK, and you can go ahead and pull out the thumb drive. Once you've got those uh, files, that PNT file from the machine exported out and put onto the thumb drive, go ahead and go to your Business Center project, go to your USB drive, and then inside Project Library, go to Projects, and go to the job site that you actually recorded those points on. And here you'll see the difference between office data and field data. Now there's a field data folder. And in there, you'll have a folder that's called points. So under the points here is what's going to show the points that that machine has created, any, any measured data folders. So here's the one that we had created, this utility site text. And the 320E is the indication that it came from that machine. As soon as you pull that in, go ahead and minimize it. Now you'll notice right here that it automatically defaulted to PNT, which is the point file that comes out of an Earthworks machine. Um, it comes out in meters. So these easting, northing, and elevation, it's backwards from my job site. Mine's northing, easting, and those are different numbers. So this job site that I have here is in U.S. survey feet, but it's exporting out in meters. Trimble is currently working on that. But there's a converter inside this importing process here to wash it and basically bring it in as a PNT and then we're going to export as a CSV. So go ahead and leave it right there. It knows that's the file type and then import it in and it's going to land it right where it needs to be. If I turn back on my points right here. So now we've got the points and I'll show the ID. So there's those points that we recorded with the machine. So now that they're in here, it's really just a matter of re-exporting those back out to in, in a CSV format, and it will convert them to a northing, easting, and elevation. Because if I go onto one of them and hit the properties, you'll see that it's got a northing, easting, and an elevation, and those match my project coordinates. So to export that back out, just go up to the Export tab at the top left here, and then in here, go to Custom. And you'll see that you can send it out in different formats, um, but we're going to send a PNE elevation code back out. We're going to go ahead and select all these points right here. So I've got five ready to go. I'm going to just go ahead and send it where I need it to go. I'm going to go ahead and put those back on my thumb drive here, my USB drive. We'll just dump it right here. So local three union hall. We'll go ahead and put that as a local three manhole shots name it whatever you want we'll hit save and then export and we are good to go because if we go back to that uh, thumb drive now that usb drive you'll see that i've got an actual csv 
So now we can go ahead and import those into our data collector. Okay, now that I get back out in the field right here, what I'm going to do is take the thumb drive that has my CSV file on it, put it into the data collector. I'm on the project that I want to import those files in, and I'm going to go to my menu button, and I'm going to go down to data management and point manager. In point manager, I have an import points option. I can bring it in as control points or stakeout points. Now, in Business Center, they looked as control points, as triangles. I can just bring them in as stakeout points. I'm going to leave that on the default, and I'm going to select the file. So at this point, i got to come up here and drop that to a D drive, and now I can see right on the root folder I've got Utilities, Site Tech, Files, CSV. I'm going to import and export, or excuse me, accept, and it says five points were brought in and they were added. So now what I can do is zoom down, and you can see, boom, those are those points. I'm going to pull my thumb drive out. Um, I've got the, the, name, the name on there if I want, name and code. I can come in here and point, point code on, so I can see exactly what the operator had named it inside the machine. So I've got water valve, water valve two, three, manhole, and it shows new and old. Whatever you want to see on the screen, I'm just trying to show you. You can go ahead and select one of those, and I'm going to stake that point right there with my rover. I'm going to walk to it. Let's say uh, it's been buried for a little while trying to find it with a data collector, it's been paved over, whatever it is, you can go ahead and set down and find the exact location. Go ahead and go forward and left and boom. There it is. Elevation's right. Position's right. Let's go ahead and stake another one. Let's go ahead and stake uh, this manhole over here. I believe this one we used the left tip. So we'll stay on the left side of it. Yep, perfect elevation. Boom. Let's go and hit that manhole over here that was the concrete block. Let's stake that one just to show you. Because remember, I recorded it two feet lower than the top of this. So if I set down on the top of this, I should be about two feet. Yep, two foot, one, about a tenth. Just a little bit extra, but boom, right there, that's how we record and check and export back into the data collector. So hopefully this video helped from SiteTech Intermountain on recording points with Earthworks machines, making it a CSV file and exporting out to a data collector. In the future, we're hoping to have an update that will allow us to bring that straight from the machine to the data collector uh, and not put it in meters. But thank you for watching.